This is how we ride. peaceful like that Gemini Gemini welcome back to the channel if you're a Gemini Sun Moon and Ascendant or progress or anywhere else in your chart if you know how to apply it in that area of the life um, then you could do so as well but as far as that Gemini Sun Moon and Ascendant this is your reading it's MC triple three back at it again with another one if you're looking for your January 2024 or 2024 yearly predictions, you can hit the, right below the description box. You'll see the playlist tag there as well. You can head over there to the playlist, or you should see it in the um, top right of your screen right now as well. You can hit that link if you're watching on desktop and things of that nature. You should see that link at the top of your screen um, right now in this point of the point of the video. So hit that, or just head over to the channel, go to my playlist, and you can hit the 2024 predictions playlist right there and tap in on that as well. If you guys are looking for any personal readings, extensives, anything like that, don't hesitate to do so. As I split the deck, we have Gemini Energy here with the Lover's card popping out. But don't hesitate to hit that description first link in the description box below for any personal services, um, mentorship, coaching, anything like that. We do have coaching and mentorship calls available and one-on-one -on -one readings available as well. Consultation, free consultation calls are only twice a week, so make sure you can book a day that is, that's working here. If you need help on like casting a natal chart, any questions on what goes down, how I do my readings, things of that nature, you can book a free consultation, and we'll give you a little walkthrough on how the process works. How the process works for you. So let's get right into it, Gemini. Hope you've been well. Hope you have a good holiday season. Back to routines and schedules and things of that nature. Back to reality things of that nature. Hope you've been doing your thing. Hope you've had a good New Year's, good Christmas, and a good start to your 2024 so far, Gemini. Let's get into it. Shout out to all my new magicians and new subscribers here. For all my returning magicians and subscribers, I appreciate you guys. We do have 50% off all personal readings right now. Expires January 10th, so make sure you guys tap in on that while it lasts. The Academy Awoken Minds closes January 30th, so don't miss out on getting in now. Um, prices will not be the same after January 30th. So I appreciate you guys all there. appreciate all my Academy members as well as my Telegram community members. That is free to join, so if you guys want to join the Telegram, mental health gems, coaching, stuff like that, then hit the description in bio. First link there, you see the Telegram logo right at the top of the page there for you, Gemini. Let's unite, let's connect. If you haven't yet, comment down below, let me know where you're tuning in from. Both communities on Telegram and, Dis uh, and Discord, Discord Academy here, you'll have access directly to me, conversations to me, bi-weekly coaching calls, etc. Telegram, you don't get all that, but you do get broadcast uh, messages from and by me. Should you guys do that, subscribe to the mailing list for all other transit info, astrology transit info, and stuff like that, we do do via email. So make sure you subscribe to the mailing list as well. You can do all that stuff in the first link below, guys. First link there, you'll see beacons.ai slash mc333. And you'll see that there. Shout out to all my people who's tapping in on merch and stuff like that. We are going to come with a new merch drop in the spring. Here, we do have some new partnerships being offered and shown to you guys coming soon. So make sure you guys look out for that here. Show me Gemini, Gemini, current situation, circumstance. Beautiful guys, beautiful. Gemini. All right, let's get right into it guys. Split this. Make sure you stay tuned to the end. We'll be pulling a mystery, uh, mystery confirmation card here as well. To kind of tie in everything together and that'll be pulled from our writer Wade Smith tarot right here on the side 
So I'm gonna pull this out for you guys, Gemini. We have the Four of Swords in position one. We have the Eight of Swords in position two. In position three, we have the Six of Cups, pleasure here. And position four, we do have the Princess of Swords. So a lot of air energy off the bat. We have air and water significant. We do have some earth coming out as the Eight of Discs right there in position five. Position six, we do have the Hermit. Position seven, we do have the Four of Cups here. Virgo energy has been pretty prominent as uh, as well. Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Then it's Capricorn season, and uh, Cap the sun. Well, the sun is in Capricorn. That brings the Earth, being opposite of the sun, um, to reside in said be Cancer season. Um, yeah, correct. As as the sun is in Capricorn. We shall be in Cancer. We're going to be moving into, yeah, I know it's gonna be, it's gonna be a, still Aquarius season coming up. I was gonna say Virgo energy is very prominent. Um, but what I was gonna refer, reference to was uh, was gonna be to Pisces season, but we are still in Capricorn, so that was just a, um, I don't know, I guess I caught that train of thought regarding. Um, the Virgo energy and the Piscean energy. We're still quite a little bit away from Pisces season. But Virgo energy has been very prominent here. The Hermit energy is popping out in a few readings, guys. But as before we get into the spread, I'm going to pull a handy dandy card from the Rider Wade Smith here. Up here. gonna give us the confirmation we need at the end of the reading to kind of tie everything together guys we're gonna pull it right off the top here set it right to the side we're gonna grab Emily and salt for protection keep it right on that mystery card there so in position one Gemini we do have the four of swords Libra energy I feel like this was some sort of um we're here the four of swords really the truce card here is balance this is Libra I think this is balance within your thoughts um, within your perception, how you kind of, how you're seeing things or even how you communicate, right? The way you're communicating is a very, um, I feel like it's in a very balanced way. It's really like no animosity, even with your enemies here. I think there's a sense of, uh, calm. There's a sense of like no competition. Like you're the only one that you can, you're just competing with yourself here. And, um, any conversation, you really just meet it with some sort of balance, you know, some sort of, um, calm communication or things of that nature, analyzation, right? Knowing how to pivot yourself around certain things here, um, which is very nice. And I think you know this based upon your abundance and what brings you abundance, what brings you growth and what brings you, you know, kind of developing every sort of way of communicating. You know, you don't just talk to talk, you talk, you're learning to talk with a lot of meaning and reasoning. Um, but you're not just wasting your breath anymore here, Gemini, I feel like. If, um, if things don't kind of help you grow in some way, shape, or form, like, you know, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, I feel like you don't really, you don't really give it too much energy. Right? You're looking for balance, right? Universal balance here. With the current energy, I think this does have something to do with this Eight of Swords, though, and the connection with the Four and the Eight. Signification here, uh, significant. But I think this is you spending farther time in analyzing how you want to move forward and, and maybe how you claim abundance, maybe how, you, how you're how you looking to grow in your life here. I think you're really spending a lot of time analyzing it, thinking about it, communicating about it, like what you want to do, you know, um, it's like, let's say you work a job and you want to, you're thinking about what to do after you retire or things of that nature. Like it's things like that, right? Like how do you want to live your life and how do you want to expand your way of living, your way of thinking, your perception, your mind here? Um, you know, how can you expand your family? How can you expand the things you built, right? And there's a lot there's a lot of thinking here going down um, right now, Gemini. And I think it's because you found truce with, you know, you, the people in your life, your partners, your families, um, right? Like like many different things in your life, you kind of find a balance and you kind of found a, a truce to it, right? Like you're not really at war anymore with anything. And I think you're really trying to position yourself to be the best you could be. So I think a lot of there's a lot of analyzing going down right now, like really spending time figuring out what's the best route for you, right? And what's the best growth and what actions can you take 
that is in alignment to the meaning and reasoning that you give to a lot of things internally and externally, right? Because the hidden influence here is the Six of Cups, pleasure. I think you have, I think you've been having a very good streak here, Gemini, and I think you know what brings you pleasure, what brings you happiness, right, in all areas, whether it's your relationships, um, your ways of thinking, um, your job, right, things of that nature. You know how how you indulge. You know there's a good there's a healthy balance here of how you indulge and the discipline, how you maintain your health, right? And I think you're really just structuring your life to kind of maintain the harmony, right? Maintain the routine, the balance of pleasure, right? That hermit energy is here coming, showing up here as well with the Virgo Virgo energy, the Six of Cups, and it really is like creating a routine around your pleasures creating a routine around your fulfillment. And maybe that's what you're spending a lot of time thinking about, right? How can you create a routine around what fulfills you, what brings you this abundance, which is accordance to Jupiter here. These are two Jupiter cards. Um, so I really do feel like that's significant for you, Gemini. Could be figuring out communication, how to get your communication skills better, maybe how to come together mentally with someone, maybe in a relationship because there's a lot of harmony in that relationship, Gemini. And there may need to be a unification of the mind, you know, how you guys come together with ideas and communication and things, how you guys talk with each other. And I think that's good. I think it's been good for you, Gemini. And I think you're just spending a time, you know, spending a lot of time <clears throat> or just more time than usual, like figuring out how to maintain that, creating a routine around that to where if you need to talk about things, things can be spoken about. If you need to discuss things, it can be spoken about. Like you're kind of looking, you know, kind of curating to set a routine and set the stage for certain things to be expressed, communicated, spoken about. That way, that abundance and that high vibrational energy can kind of stay and be maintained, right? As you elevate, as you grow, you want your environment to grow as well. You want the people around you to grow as well, right? Position four, we do have the Princess of Swords. The Princess of Swords uh, is, the ma is the materialization of an idea. It is a materialization and the manifestation of how we think and how what we perceive, right? So I think I think this here, like I think you've seen how I think Gemini, I think you've seen how thinking certain ways can manifest in certain ways. I think you think I think you've seen how having a certain mindset or mentality can dictate how your way of life right can dictate your state of being and your ways of living um and that can be a little limited a little limited a li um, it can be a limitation factor right within life and i think you're kind of understanding now that it's important to think a certain way that way your manifestations come in alignment to that what appears in the physical realm is in alignment to that right i think when you move i think as you see certain ideas materialize you realize what, how much energy to give to certain ideas, how much energy you need to give to certain thoughts, and how much energy um, you need to put in for the right things to be communicated because you know that what you put out, you receive. What you put out manifests, right? And I think you're kind of coming to conclusion with that and, and, and realizing that, okay, you need to get your thoughts and how you communicate really in alignment so that that can continue to manifest in, in, in the right ways that you want it, right? I think you've seen certain things manifest based upon you speaking things or just even thinking things, Gemini, and that manifesting into your life. Like, for example, you could have thought negative before and then you seeing something come out of that negative thinking and you're like, damn, like I should have not even thought like that or shouldn't have even said that because something came out of that that wasn't even a positive thing, right? That wasn't even helpful. It was more harmful. So... I think you're really getting a grips on that. Okay, listen, okay, I can't, when I get, when I'm frustrated, when I'm angry, when I'm mad, I think it's like, okay, don't, don't, um, don't just say anything. Don't just say anything. Don't just communicate anything out of anger. It's, it's like, it's, it's realizing, coming to grips that you have a lot of power. And I think you know this, Gemini, with your words and even just how you think and how you analyze. So you want to maintain a kind of harmonious ways of thinking and ways of speaking and ways of communicating. I think that's why that truce energy is showing up because I think you're learning from a lot of that. And it, that's a little obstacle to overcome to know that, all right, when we are to understand that our thoughts and our and what we communicate to the world externally 
even what we speak to us how we speak to ourselves has a significant um presence in within our manifestations here so you have to remember that here with this with this card so it's like be mindful of what, how we speak and what we put out right because that can affect us that can appear in the physical world so position five you have the eight of discs the virgo energy again as well Virgo energy again as well so so with this guys in position five emotionally connected to you know your vibe is really on your your material it's like your status um what you're building here could have been could have could be working on something a lot here maybe a new job that you're spending a lot of time in maybe it's a job that you like to spend time into right this is position five, something that we emotionally connect to. This is also other um, other other perspectives as well, which we'll touch on. But I do think that you have a job possibly in your life, Gemini, that you really love to do. Um, and I think you're spending a lot of time with that here. Maybe you maybe you're spending maybe you're, you're figuring out how to create a routine around this thing that you love to do, right? Because you're spending so much time in it, you're like, damn, okay, I need to really structure myself. I really need to get a sense of balance and balance this here, balance that there, right? Um, and it may ask for it may ask for new things from you, new skills, new uh, new efforts, and things of that nature. So it kind of like you're you're restructuring that um, that area of your life here. But I do feel like within other within other other people's perspectives, I do think that I do think they see you spending a whole lot of time with work endeavors or like uh, shaping your status or your finances in some way, shape, or form. Um, this could be people uh, like family, friends, coworkers, and things of that nature. I think they see the efforts you're putting in. And how to curate your foundation right like you may have a very structured routine around your foundation and your work life here it's kind of like an ebb and flow right to where you spend a lot of time in it yeah but you have a very structured routine and it's a very harmonious routine it keeps the cycle flowing here it keeps the tree bare with fruit right you don't really go with no harvest i'm hearing In position six, you need to pay attention to your inner light, right? This Let this be your guidance. Someone else got this card too. I'm not sure if it was Scorpio um, this week, but the Hermit, guys, follow, the, follow your inner light. I'm really getting for you guys, Gemini. Follow your inner light. Follow your inner knowing. Follow what you've learned from the past, um, what you're learning from the present moment, what you've learned from experiences, right? Conversations. I'm hearing you need to follow your inner light here. Don't look, don't, don't let the external world blind you too much, right? There's certain things that you have to look, look towards within you, right? The answers are with, within you, I'm hearing. So anywhere you're looking to kind of shift or come up with a decision here, the answer's within you, right? Because that's how you're going to expand in any way, shape, or form. Is going within, finding the answers on your, on your own. And kind of coming up with your own um, your own way of thinking about this situation or feeling about this situation here. I think you have the own, your own wisdom and what it takes to find clarity in order to kind of move forward here. Because we do have the Four of Cups as the outcome card is luxury. So I think as you keep looking within, Gemini, you will continue feeling rewarded, feeling nurtured, and being able to be nurtured back, right? So it's like, taking care of what you want to and having what you take care of take care of you you're reaping what you sow here and i think you're really understanding that with this princess of swords card because we got into a little bit with this princess of swords so maybe you should rewind that a little bit listen to that part a little bit again and i think that has something to do with this outcome card here especially this outcome this uh, this four of cups with the four of swords i think this truce it's what's allowing you to be aware of your manifestations and how you think and communicate. And that's what's allowing you to kind of, um, kind of leading into this energy of understanding that, understanding the words that you put out are powerful. So you know, like, okay, so certain things don't need my energy. Certain things do need my energy. I need to speak on certain things. And I don't need to speak on other things that, don't, that I don't want to see manifest, right? So that's your inner guidance. And that's what's going to allow this 
the harmony, the four of cups, right? The luxury. What you give out, you receive. So you now know that you how you communicate and then the words that you say and portray is also the genuinity, the genuinity that you will receive back to you. The opportunities that you will see manifest that are in alignment to how you think and how you're speaking, right? Let's get into the mystery card here. Let's see what this is. Comment down below. Let me know. Play a little game on intuition. Let me know what you think that mystery card is right here. For you, Gemini, I do see some air. A lot of air. See some water. See some earth. Don't see any fire. I don't see any action yet right now. Maybe maybe we don't maybe we don't need fire right now, Gemini. Maybe the motivations here, maybe the actions have been here, right? Or maybe you're spending time reanalyzing how you take these actions, right? Maybe when you understand the power of your words and your thoughts, your actions will will kind of follow that. Will will kind of ripple effect that, right? Maybe some fire would be nice to see here. Okay, let's see. Check it out. You guys see it before me. No, we got a water card. Five of Cups. Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups is very interesting, guys. The Five of Cups is like... Five of Cups. Five of Cups is change. So I do feel um, the change of how you feel towards something here. Maybe this all started from how, you know, maybe from this, maybe this all started or initiated by some sort of change that you felt towards someone or something. All right. Maybe you notice a change within a love, a love connection, um, maybe fell out. Maybe you notice a change within a, a, a career opportunity. Maybe you had an opportunity that kind of fell through. And that, that kind of had you a little mentally overthinking about certain things, right? It could be a job opportunity, a career opportunity that kind of didn't go as planned. And that maybe had you overthinking. But I think you've came to grips with that overthinking and realized that that was kind of meant to show up for you, right? Because what shows up for you is always meant for you. And I think that's where you kind of came to the conclusion of this truce here. Because you no longer, and you, you kind of stepped in as their own interference. You, you stepped in as your own interference to catch a grip on how you think about this thing right here, right? Because you, you could have been overthinking a lot with that nine, that nine or ten of pen, the ten of swords, and now the eight of swords comes in and steps in. It's like, no, I'm not. I found truce. Now let me step in and get control of how I think about this situation that I feel. You know how I feel about this situation. Let me get a grip about how I think about it, right? So I can change how I feel because you want to feel pleasurable. You want to feel a six here. You want the pleasure. You know, we want the harmony. So now you're aligning your thought forms so that it's in alignment to how you feel. Because I think you already feel and want the harmony and you know that. So now you're shaping your thought forms about it based upon what you've seen manifest, based upon how you think and communicate. See what I'm saying? Very nice, gentlemen. I hope this brought you clarity here this week. Follow up with me tomorrow. We do uploads every day. I appreciate you guys for tapping in. Back to our weekly schedule, we do have a uh, new moon coming up as well, so stay tuned for that. I might do some bonus readings on there as well, or in the community academy um, for some uh, for some community members, because I know we don't have memberships here on YouTube yet, just yet, which will be coming soon. Um, so wait and look out for those. But Gemini, I hope this brought you some clarity. As always, I'm watching from afar. I'm rooting for you. As we close out here. I want to remind you that you are the most important part of this channel. This is good for you. I think I think this is good for you. I hope this brought you clarity. Comment down below. Let me know how you're feeling about this, Gemini. Let me know what resonates. If you're looking for one-on-one -on -one readings, hit the description box below. First link in bio. Sam C triple three. Young MC knowing better because I gotta do right, G. Yeah, you know, and I had to build it up just for my team and my family. Kept it going on my feet, 10 to 20 toes, man, you know it, G. And that's just how I'm coming, man, you know I'm true to me. I had to set the plan, didn't know I was executing me. And if you don't see me presented in the present, then I'll be the time. I'll be walking divinely alive. 777, seeing all my past, you know I'm fly. 
And I'm flying with the angels, man, it's side time MC Triple D, I'm rapping on the beat, it's also coming here And they don't know about the boom bap, you know it's me Coming on this beat so hard, it's CW and MS doing individuals mean They wasn't ready for what we presented, so I know they might just hate me